Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your daily reading for today, Tuesday. Let's see what is showing up for the beautiful fishies. I have a little bit of allergies at the time I'm recording this. So I hope that's not too annoying for you. <laughs> I welcome you into this space. I want this space to be a safe area in which we can receive messages from spirit, advice, guidance, confirmations, predictions, everything that is relevant and useful for us to navigate our reality. So spirit, please bring all of these messages forward for the Pisces watching, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All welcome here. First card showing up here, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to go ahead and lay the full spread before beginning with the messages. This might take a minute, so please be patient with me. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that there could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy here being very, very present within you or around you, okay? This could be an energy of desiring stability. I, I'm getting this like very motherly vibe of wanting to, kind of, I heard play house, but like the vibe that I'm getting is actually kind of like really focusing on making the home sustainable, beautiful. I see someone kind of like working with gardens, you know, and making sure that the stability, the financial stability is there. Also, the emotional stability is there in order to open new chapters. I see her holding this baby here in the image, and it's leading me to think of new phases, right? New beginnings. So maybe you want to expand your family, Pisces. Some of you might. Others of you may want to expand into new territories, but you want to maybe make sure that everything that you have already gone for is stable, is um, grounded, possibly protected as well. For some of you, this is definitely an expansion of the family because we have here in the near future the Ace of Wands. This is a card of fertility. This is a card of passion, sexuality, a lot of very fiery energy that brings life into things. So it's often associated with, you know, um, kind of like a heightened fertility that if that's what you're going for, great. If that's not what you're going for, then, you know, be careful with that. But it also talks about fertility and creativity in all areas, even like artistic, personal, you know, all those kind of things. So very soon you're getting a lot of inner fire and inspiration to live life to the fullest and truly enjoy every bit of it. In your mind space, you've got the Ace of Cups. So yeah, lots of thoughts around emotional new beginnings. Some of you perhaps are thinking about getting serious with a romantic partner or you're thinking, you know what, I want to manifest my ideal romantic partner because I want to have this big love, you know, big love, big family, big, you know, fertility, the whole thing. A lot of thought of new beginnings. We have the four aces. I hadn't even noticed. Wow. Look at this. There's only four aces in the whole 78 cards of um, the tarot deck. And in this particular reading, we're just putting, pulling 10 out of the 78, okay? And look at that. We have four, the four, the four of them. Each one of these is a new beginning in different areas, right? Each element, reverse, each um, suit 
represents a different element. New beginning in pentacles, pentacles, earth, earthly matters. New beginnings, this would represent new beginnings in your health, new beginnings in business, money, wealth, okay, stability, financial success, career success, home. The wand here is representative of the element of fire. A new beginning in fire would be everything related to inspiration, passion, vitality, your energy, motivation. Here, with the cup, the cup is water. Water is emotion. New beginning in everything emotional. Healing. Personal development. Romance. Relationships. Connections. The swords is air. Air, a new beginning in air. Air is the mind, the thoughts, perspectives, the communication, words. So new beginnings in those areas too. And this is letting me know, Pisces, that you are... Being completely renewed is what I'm getting. Sort of like when a snake shed sheds its old skin and the the new skin, the bright skin, is right underneath and it starts to kind of like shine through. And you can see the quality and the beauty of that like fresh, fresh, um, really saturated color in the snake's skin. That's what I'm getting here with your life in a way. So for some of you, this is a life that is going to start looking aesthetically better, if that makes sense. More colorful, more saturated. Now, what does that mean? What I'm getting is maybe um, social media, your social media getting very um, kind of like beautiful, you know, very beautiful images and representations of what you live on the day to day. Maybe if this is about your art, your music, your writing, things becoming just so beautiful, you know, so noticeably, so beautifully loud. <laughs> I don't know, like the, the beauty is loud here. The, the, the beauty that, that you see, okay, the aesthetic. In the challenge, though, you may feel like you have been sort of waiting for something for a while and it's taking maybe longer than you would like. You've been trying to be patient, you've been really focusing on being in your center, you know, healing, remaining in your balance perhaps, trying your best to have, you know, the best attitude towards everything. And you may feel sometimes that like you wonder like how 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 much longer do I have to be patient about this? Like is this ever going to happen? For some of you, this could definitely be related to fertility. Take it if it resonates. It's like you see things coming. You see your manifestations coming. You feel the energy arriving. But it doesn't seem to just kind of like fully manifest. That will not apply for all of you. Just for a few of you. So, you know, take it if it resonates. We had a lot of earth energy here with the king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, and the hierophant. So in your environment, you may be connecting to spirituality, connecting to higher knowledge. There may, there may be a lot of very wise people around you. This could be older people. It doesn't have to be necessarily. But I do see you almost like tapping into the wisdom of the elders around you. Really respecting the experiences that they have gone through. Kind of like really asking questions. Allowing their experiences in whatever area to be enriching for you. I see here as well that the energy of marriage, religious or spiritual dogma is present here in the environment also possibly a Taurus may have a lot of answers for some questions that you may be asking life or asking yourself pretty much the message here is whatever question you have it's most likely to be answered by your inner wisdom <laughs> or a Taurus person who has a lot of inner wisdom Does that make sense 
For those of you who are waiting for this uh, pregnancy fertility moment here, there is a time of high likelihood of pregnancy in the near future for you, okay? Let's pull more cards and get a little bit more like context with this. There could be a situation in which you're trying to be very objective. You feel the need to stand your ground and really make your boundaries very clear. Perhaps towards a earth sign or a fire sign. Trust yourself, okay? Trust that you know when something is right and when it isn't. In your mind space, there is um, a level of grief and it seems like you're getting excited about something new, walking away from the grief of a previous situation and starting a new chapter that is not filled with grief, but instead filled with joy and colors and excitement, okay? Since that grief has been experienced in your mind, mind space, there may be, to a certain extent, a fear of things going south, which I think is always a part of, you know, life. Ten of Wands. This is a message for those of you who are um, desiring to get pregnant and have a child. Make sure that you are in a moment in your life in which you're not going to get overburdened. Like, try your best to have everything under control before even trying, if that makes sense. Not that we ever can, but you know what I mean. If your life feels like a total mess right now, maybe it's not the right time. In the recent past, temperance, and then we have here the hangman. So feeling a little bit all over the place, Pisces, um, feeling like you've really tried your best to stay centered while you wait for something. Maybe you're waiting for the resources, financial resources for something to happen. Maybe there is something, a money, a check, an inheritance, a property, something that's like on its way to you. And it's kind of yours, but like not 100% um, completed in some way or received by you in some way. You're making the right calls, okay? You're making the right calls. You're making good decisions. You are making decisions that are very fair for you and others, but most importantly, that are fair for you. Because, you know, a lot of you, we've talked about this, a lot of um, people from the Pisces sign or, you know, collective tend to be generous to a fault sometimes. And in this case, I feel like you are, um, most of you taking charge and saying, I'm going to honor and protect what I've been building and make sure that I am being fair to myself before even being fair to anyone else, you know? Not walking all over other people, but, you know, fair and square, right? Three of Cups in the environment. Um, a lot of wisdom could appear. Maybe hanging out with the tourists, going for a drink, just, you know, having some kind of, like, socialization, social time. And conversation may come up and you may realize that the wisdom pouring out of them almost seems to be channeled at this time. Almost feels like spirit. Or as if you were getting kind of like a reading. But this is just maybe a friend talking to you or someone that you meet at a restaurant or whatever, you know. The messages are going to be channeled by people around you. Eight of Pentacles. Hard work will definitely get you there. But just make sure that it is not the only component to your pursuit. Ask spirit. Pray. Connect, you know, make sure that you're co-creating with spirit and not just creating out of like muscling through things in life. Oh my God. Last card that we have here, the sun with the ace of pentacles. Talking about babies. Look at that baby right there. Someone here is getting pregnant. Someone here has been craving 
this for so long. Okay, this is happening for you. Most likely, if this is resonating with you, you can expect very shiny, powerful energy. If you are connected to a Leo in some way right now, that could also be a confirmation for you. There's a gift from God here, a brand new beginning. Don't fear um, financial issues if you are waiting or wanting a baby, because these will be solved for you, okay? All right, Pisces. So interesting reading, a little bit of everything, a little bit all over. Um, but I hope that everybody got at least one message that applies um, for them, you know. And I hope that this space always provides a space of contemplation and relaxation, even if the reading is not necessarily for you. We always, you know, talk about life experiences. Sometimes advice comes up, sometimes quotes come up. And I do believe that from every single reading, something can be kind of like, you know, made the most of. So, yes, my loves, I got this like Virgin Mary little thing here that's catching my attention. That could be a confirmation as well about this like fertility and, you know, motherly energy for some of you. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you are having a wonderful day today. And check out in the description box all the news. There's new news. There's new things going on, exciting things going on. So you can check them in the description box below. I love you to the moon and back, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.